Okay, let's see what we're doing in the pinball lab today. Today I've got a drop target, probably off a of flash or a an early game, a uh, Williams game. It's interesting because uh, the way I've set this up, there's no mechanical connection between the drop targets and the uh, scoring switches. What I've done is replace the scoring switches with reed switches which are magnetic and then I've mounted uh, on the back of the targets little tiny magnets. You can see the magnet going by there that's just glued to the back of the um, target and I've done that for the three targets. So there's the magnet for the second target and there's the magnet for the third target. And the way it works is the little reed switches, which are the blue colored uh, switches at the back, you can sort of see them there. When the switch closes, the magnet gets close to the reed switch, and then it'll light one of the LEDs so that the middle target's down, the, the, the middle LED's lit. And I'm just going to show you that quickly, how that works. So if I drop the targets, that's the first target. That's the second target. And the third target. And you see the three LED lights. And the other thing I wired up was um, the ability to do a drop target reset. The reason I wanted to do that was just to prove that if, if uh, you fired the coil for a drop target reset, that um, it wouldn't uh, cause the LEDs to fire or cause some, some sort of scoring to occur that that wasn't supposed to be occurring. Now this is prototype. I've done this in um, clear plastic just so I could see what was going on uh, and adjust it. I've, uh, I've had pretty good luck with it. It was fairly easy to do. Um, the next stage is to um, use a breadboard type circuit and actually build something I can put in a game. I want to build two drop targets and, and stick them in a game to see that uh, it'll work uh, in, in a live pinball, but it's pretty stable and, and it seems to score every time. need to be added to replace the horseshoe targets. These would become the series targets or would work on a game from Firepower and later, but uh, the other thing you need to replace would be to create a scoring switches and series switches, which shouldn't be too hard to do. The scoring switches would go in the middle of the window that you see between these two coffee stirring sticks that I'm using as spacers. Um, they go in the middle of the window, so when the magnet passed, it would um, score. And then the bottom three would be wired in series and would become the series closer switches for flash and games earlier than that. Um, so that's what I've done so far in the pinball lab.